Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> John, a little help here? A real man would not need help. He would help himself. Well, it's not like that. He knows I'm his pal. Why wouldn't I help him? It's cause we're pals. Mm. <coughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the phalanx key. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Whoopsie. What the hell? John, turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freezing. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop! Or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You showed me you were loyal back at your office. Did everything I asked, despite all the trouble I gave you. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say, I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, but don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, 
You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, that's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that gotta do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. It don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking. How the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just... don't bring it up again. Unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. Come back later, will ya?
heard about your wife, and I... <laughs> Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing... Well, that kind of love is rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better. What would Harley need with an EMP? I can't risk tampering with it. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. Buddy, it's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? When it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then... I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it? You nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Aw, oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again.
think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. Just thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. Riddler, he bombed your building. And killed your friend. If someone did that to me, I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. Maybe you do have what it takes to join our pack. The package is moving! What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. He in? Or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. 
Bruce is strong and smart and handsome, like super handsome. It's nuts, you guys, and where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can yeah! be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. 